All right. <coughs> uh, Shalom. <coughs> Shalom. <coughs> Damn. Shalom. Before I start, let me give all uh, praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rechakurash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akimwa Akwath. Learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. I hope you all will be able to hear me with this video. I'm going to let the uh, audio play from the brothers out there in GMS uh, Solemn Assembly. All right, I was listen, listening to the brothers. And towards the end of their uh, stream, you know, there was a Jake who came up. You know, he knows he's an Israelite. I believe he goes out and teaches with another group. But, you know, they use the correct names. He seems to be in good standing with these brothers right here. I'm not sure of the name of the group the man called himself or the group that he's with. But it's not one of the other, you know, it's not IUIC or IUSBK or nobody. But he gives a testimony right here of how he had a conversation back in 1998 with an Arab man. And what that Arab man admitted is the fact that the Latinos and Native Americans are indeed not Latin nor native to America, but that they also come from the Middle East. And I'm not even going to spoil it. I'm going to let him, I'm going to let him talk. I'm going to read some scripture. And then I'm going to give a testimony that uh, of a conversation that me and a brother and Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai as our witness, you know, because I'm not lying. I'll call the brother right now and he'll recall the he'll recall the event. We witnessed a similar situation go down. So let's let this play. The floods, because in this region is uh, hurricane season. Okay. The brothers were describing how Northern Kingdom how they got from the Middle East into America. It wasn't by way of the Bering Strait as we're taught according to secular history bullshit. You know, the evolution. They waited for the the ice, frozen, cold, barren wastelands a thousand miles to freeze and they could walk across it. Meanwhile, in America, those same people couldn't survive the Trail of Tears, you know. So these people were able to walk a couple thousand miles in a godforsaken wasteland, but they couldn't walk a couple hundred in land that they knew. Yeah, okay. All right. So let's, let's let it play. You know what I mean? Because you know what's crazy? I was telling um, a lot last night, back in 98, when I was on um, Konaki. And it was an Arab cat, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, were just, we were just talking, we were just building, whatever. I said, nah, and I brought up the Native Americans. He was like, the Native Americans, they, they, ain't no, they, they ain't no Native Americans. They ain't Indians. They, they came from our country. We came from our country. He said, them and the Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? We had them as slaves. They wasn't behaving. We kicked them out. That's how they came over here. Wow. That's a testimony. Yo. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> we both said it at the same time. <laughs> We both said wow at the same time. Alright, and I believe that dude because I had a similar situation. The conversation he had with the Arab man, the Arab said the Arab man said they're not Native American. Those people come from the east, from our country. We had them as slaves and kicked them out because they were being disobedient. And what does that line up with? See, no matter what the modern day Christian church says, real history is breaking forth and shining out of the cracks of the lies that have been laid down for several thousand years now. All right. So let's get the scriptural example first of the account that he was describing. Because what the Arab man was describing to him was out of, uh, I'll just go get it. Look at me trying to be fancy, trying to remember how to spell his name. Second Edges 13. We'll go straight to the account. <laughs> We'll start up some, and we'll start it, uh, and this links up, and now the brothers had read it, uh, I believe, out of 2 Kings, where it occurs. So we're going to read it out of 2 Edges 13, all right? 2 Edges 13 and, and 39, and whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceful multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, the king of who? Northern kingdom whom Salamanasser, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. So this is what that Arab man is describing. The fact that they, when I say they, the Latinos and Native Americans were being held hostage uh, by, and you know, the Syrian, you know, they're, they're their own they're separate from Ishmael, if you will, but for 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 lack of better terms, uh, we'll call them 
Middle Eastern, uh, you know, the, the Middle Easterners, all right? Because it wasn't just uh, it wasn't just the Assyrians who had Northern Kingdom and slavery, you know. Th that was the main one. That wasn't the only captivity they had went in, but that was their major one. The same way that Judah's major captivity was who under Babylon, all right? So that Arab man made the the point that they were once slaves and they left and came over here. And what does the scripture say? They were slaves, and then what did they do? They got the hell out of the Dodge, 42. That they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. This is why the brother was showing that map, all right? And the original idea was to come to the Americas to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to do a redo or restart. Because things was fucked in, things was fucked in Jerusalem, man. Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom was beefing, all right? And if you remember in that video, I'm going to rewind it, but he said the natives and the Puerto Ricans. Why is that significant of the Puerto Ricans? Who is the head of the Northern Kingdom? Real quick, let's get that. All right. What tribe are the Northern, North, or are the Puerto Ricans? Right here out of, uh, it's right here. It's in Genesis. Let me see. I believe 48. <laughs> yep, 48. And uh, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? 48 and yep 48 and 20 all right it says and he that he being jacob before he was about to pass and he blessed them that day saying and thee shall israel bless saying yahweh make thee as ephraim and as manasseh and he said ephraim before manasseh all right and if you know the actual story manasseh was born before ephraim but ephraim was set up to be above all right judah is the head tribe of the southern kingdom ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom tribes all right which is an ephraim is synonymous with joseph they're interchangeable words okay which is why he made mention of the puerto ricans in which we understand that there's more you know so you have so-called mexicans you got the whole south america you know brazil honduras Ur uruguay paraguay you know the whole the whole the whole spiel all right but he that arab man whether he understood it or not, it was through the spirit that he said that the Puerto Ricans, because they're the spiritual heads, all right? The same way that the Negro is the spiritual head of the darker-skinned tribes. So let's take it back a little bit. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you know what's crazy? I was telling um, a lot last night, back in 98, when I was on, on Kanaki. And it was an Arab cat, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we were just, we were just talking, you know, just building, whatever. I said, now, and I brought up the Native Americans. He was like, the Native Americans, they, they, ain't, no, they, they ain't no Native Americans. They ain't Indians. They, they came from our country. We came from our country. He said, them and the Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? We had them enslaved. They wasn't behaving. We kicked them out. That's how they came over here. Wow. That's a testimony. Yep. And that's it. That, see? You see? So that's why my brother some of the Northern Kingdom is not Israel. I'm like, you don't know history. Yeah. They just don't know history. They're unlearned. They're unlearned. They don't know history, man. You know, so now nah, let me take it back to that second I'm going to finish reading and then I'm going to give my testimony real quick. This isn't going to be a long video at all. I just wanted to highlight that, y'all. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so second edge is 13 and uh, let's make it on uh, 44. For the Most High showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Arsereth. Uh, then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now shall they begin to come. All right. So it was prophesied that they would be over here until the end of the until the return of the Messiah, the latter time, the latter days. Okay. It's that plain and simple, man. That's a, they are people too, god damn it. Finna keep arguing with you hard-headed, uh, Jake. All right, and I'm gonna give my testimony here in a minute, but let's do something real quick. So right here, right, I, all I did was type in Ofer. I didn't type in Ofer is America, is America Ofer, none of that. All I did was type in Ofer. We're gonna go take a look and see what's up with that scripture. So Ofer, right? Theorized locations. It says Sri Lanka. We know it's not that one. Somewhere in India. We know it's not that one. Let's come down. Let's come down. Philippines. Not that one. Africa. Not that one. Americas. Right there. In a letter written May 1500, Peter Martyr claimed 
that Christopher Columbus identified Hispaniola with Ophir. The theologian Benito Arias Montano proposed finding Ophir in the name of Peru, reasoning that the native Peruvians were thus descendants of Ophir and Shem, which, you know, that, uh, well, they, you know, they're of Shem, all right? Peruvians are, you know, Northern Kingdom. It says the California gold rush boom town Ophir was renamed after the biblical source of Solomon's treasure. So this fucker snitched on, he, he snitched on himself, man. He snitched on himself. So we know that it's the Ophir. We know that America is that land that they came to. All right. It tells you here. Uh, let me see. Uh, it says, uh, namely, of a great way to go. Yeah. Of a year and a half. What other land did it take to reach in a year and a half? Uh, First Kings. I'm going to just type in Ophir, make it quick. And then I'm going to give my testimony. All right. Yep, 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 10, God, I could get a, uh, First Kings 9, and 28, let's see, I'll just read right this one, and I'll jump, it says First Kings 9 and 28, and they came to Ophir, and fetched from thence gold, 420 talents, and brought it to King Solomon, alright, Ophir was that place that they journeyed to, and how long did it take to reach there, First Kings 10 and 22, for the king had said at sea a navy of Tarshish, with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish, bringing gold, silver, ivory, and apes, and peacocks. All right. Arsereth is America. Ophir is America. All right. The Native, the Native Americans, Latinos, left from the Middle East and came to the Americas. They are Israelites. All right. And to further back up this man, all right, hey, the, br the brother was there with me. We had an incident where we were going into a liquor store and here in Detroit. And like I've always, I'll say it, I, I make mention of it, all right, Detroit, the Michigan, the state of Michigan, specifically the Detroit metro area, has the highest population of Arab Americans in all of the country, all right? You'll see them more damn near than you're going to see Esau, all right? They all up in here. So, and they own a lot of stores, especially the gas stations and liquor stores. So, as we're going into a liquor store, we see a so-called black man arguing with the Arab store owners. And distinctly he was the black man so called screaming at him, We're the Egyptians. We're the ancient we the we the Egyptians. And I remember hearing this Arab man shouting back, he said, No, y'all are Hebrews. He said, he said, Y'all are the Hebrews. And I and and the the brother was there with me. The brother I not here in the Detroit camp. When I I didn't know what was going on, but I we happened to step in on that conversation. We were going in there to, uh, I I think get something, but we didn't. You know, we looked around. We kind of realized they they didn't have it, and we happened to start hearing that over here in that conversation. And as soon as I started hearing that Ishmaelite tell him that we talking about us, the black people are the Hebrews, I got beyond enraged. I became, I was burning with fire. Uh, I wanted to start ripping. <laughs> I started getting mad at him because he knew the truth. And these people intentionally keep the truth from us. And I was getting mad at that Jake because he was shouting out that we were Egyptians and we're not. All right. And what, what scripture does that sound like, y'all? Psalms. Let's go here and let's end it. These heathen know who we are. And they've kept that secret from us. And that's why I, I was I, be, I got instantly enraged. It was to the point where I grabbed the brother. I was like, man, we need I was like, man, we need to get the f <laughs> we need to get up out of here. I started getting angry because I wanted to get behind the counter and start tearing their asses up, to be all the way honest with y'all. Because at the same time he was shouting that to he felt comfortable shouting that at him and that enclosed space. But when we're out here in public telling these people we're that we're the chosen people, they look at us like we're crazy and they want to downplay us. But behind closed doors, they know what the real deal is. All right. I, uh, Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate, hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All right. This was a purpose a purposeful thing that these motherfuckers have done. They know exactly who they are and they've done their damnedest to keep that history suppressed. All right. Which is why I don't find it. I find it very 
easy to believe that that man also overheard a conversation in 98 the same way that I overheard that conversation that had to be at least back in 2018, man. All right, so let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakaka. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, citations, all like Akimwa Aqua, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, hey, Shalom.